Hey Flosstube, this is Tara with World of Women Crafts and today we have a little Flosstube extra. We are unboxing the Black Needle Society Spring in Stars Hollow Box. I have, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you have seen some of my regular floss tubes, sorry, it's too loud. Could have opened this beforehand. I see that now. I see that now. <laughs> anyway, if you have seen me before, you might have mentioned, or you might have heard me mention that this event is coming up. Um, this is a annual sort of event that the Black Needle Society has been putting on for the past two years and there's going to be one after this because they're hitting all four seasons um, since the show Gilmore Girls is strongly based around seasonality so we've had fall and autumn in Stars Hollow which I didn't participate in because I didn't know about it then summer in Stars Hollow which I did participate in last year and then we have spring and the last year will be winter so I'm trying not to peek down too much so Here's our card. They always feature the um, gazebo. I'm just gonna get right into this. I am so excited. It literally, I just heard it was dropped off. So it's like, it's time. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. First thing, oh, there's something inside of here. We have <laughs> Miss Patty's Founders Day Punch. Oh my goodness. It's like a firm red solo cup. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I I guess I'll read off the descriptions as I go. I was like, I don't want to spoil myself too much. And inside of here, I guess we'll look at this as well, is, oh, Carrie Lee's Specialties Movie Theater Butter Popcorn Kit. Snacks, they usually always provide snacks. That's so cool. Um, all right, let's see, try not to read everything okay founders day punch cup designed by katarina book designs are you a punch junkie if so you need this exclusive reusable cup to enjoy miss patty's founders day punch um oh yeah stars hollow movie in the square night popcorn made by carrie lee specialties the movie may be the yearling again but at least we've got some fantastic movie theater butter style popcorn to munch on during the show amazing okay let's see um all right, I'm gonna save this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna save that for last. This year, this is how we have our mystery floss from Owl's Pancake World. I think this is how they delivered it last year in like an Owl's to go container, but it was their usual like pillow envelope packs. I'm dying that they actually did a whole takeout box. <laughs> so let's see. Oh my goodness. So many colors. Okay, let's see. Ooh. And these usually all are themed to the show. So we'll test my yours and my knowledge here if we know what these are. Um already know. So we have Big Head Want Dolly, which is actually it's a it's a brown to an almost black. I feel like you can see it on the top there. That is a deep, deep, deep brown. So it's kind of like a warm a medium a deep medium to a deep cool brown okay the three month anniversary this is that's probably i mean it looks a little brighter to you but that's probably the true tone it's kind of a very pink magenta -y red Ooh, let me make sure i'm not laying the thread on the tape vicious trollop okay i do know that's the lipstick I do that's related to the lipstick. This is kind of a tonal color. There you go. You can see both tones in there. I don't even... It's kind of a red-brown, I guess. I'm struggling with colors today. Let's see. A film by Kirk. Okay, so he has a black and white movie. So we have this like kind of silver screen gray tonal here. Oh, I really like tonals. I'm excited about these. And then finally we have The Pickles which I also am not sure what the exact reference is to that. I have not really watched. Um, every year, the Black Mill Society will also put out um, like a watch list related, like episodes related to each season, which is really cute. So I haven't, um, 
I haven't started watching any episodes yet. So we got one, two, three, four, five colors. And let's see if they had any. Al's Pancakes exclusive floss made by Color and Cotton. I don't know if I said that. You'll never, you never know what you'll get from Al's. We asked Angela to dream up colors and fi inspired by some of our favorite spring Gilmoreisms. So there you go. They're in those episodes. I need to just get on it, get on it and watch them. So I'm gonna keep these in their to-go container. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, magnets. Okay. Oh, we have Firelight Festival matches. Are these actual matches? No. <laughs> it is a a needle case, I'm assuming. There's a magnet in here. Let's see. They say um yeah, Firelight Festival needle case designed by Karen Leopold. Did they forget matches to light the bonfire again? We made this handy match case to hold a few extras, but we may be stashing needles inside instead. Contains a magnet. Yeah, it was stuck to the this little baggie, which I'm assuming is the needle minder. So we will take a peek in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Vote Geller and Gilmore for Chilton student body president. So that would be Paris Geller and Rory Gilmore. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Needle minder. Designed by the Black Needle Society, Geller and Gilmore Needleminder. It's campaign season at Chilton. Who are you voting for in the student body president election? She may not be likable, but we think Geller is qualified and competent, and her running mate looks like birds help her get dressed in the morning. <laughs> I think that's something that Paris said to Rory as a burn at one point. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much happening here. Okay, I'll pick these up next. Look at these snips. They have little dragonflies on them. Oh, I love that blue iridescence. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Dragonfly scissors curated by the Black Needle Society. Um, it's time to cut the ribbon for the grand opening of the Dragonfly Inn, and we have a special pair of scissors for the occasion, complete with dragonflies on the handles. That's so pretty. Who doesn't need more scissors? Who doesn't need more scissors? Okay. Next, we have this little box. I have no idea what could be in here. Ooh, as I mangle it. I still have no idea. Oh my goodness. Is this a a portable charger. It says, if you're going to get into classic rock, know it, don't blow it. Is that supposed to be, um, Rory's best friend. <laughs> I just forgot her name. It'll say, I'm sure. It's got a little USB. Let's see. Uh, Lane, Lane, I knew it was an L. Lane's Classic Rock Bluetooth Speaker Keychain? Pardon? Designed by the Black Needle Society, use this portable speaker to get an education and rock. We've even created a playlist inspired by the show. In the Spotify app, go to search, click the camera icon in the right, top right corner, and scan the Spotify code below. What? <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my gosh, if there's time, if I'm feeling, well, I'm filming on my phone, so I don't think we can really test this at the end, but that is so fun. How creative, how creative. So I know some people like strictly stitching supplies in their boxes, but that kind of stuff is just so creative and it just really gets me. Um, okay, next up, this was expected. Uh, and actually, give me one second, I should have grabbed something before I sat down. Okay, <laughs> so these are recipe cards, and this is something that has been like a continuity thing over each of the boxes. So we have this Eat Like a Gilmore recipe binder that has <laughs> uh, Taylor and Luke and Hot Dog Kirk back there, and then Rory and Lorelai. Um, 
So I have, so again, I didn't purchase the Autumn and Stars Hollows box, but I was able to get this book and the Autumn recipes on the vault or in the vault. And then I got the summer recipes with the summer box. So I'm going to keep adding to it. So let's see if I can get in here what the recipes are this year. I kind of have this silly idea that <laughs> I kind of want to maybe try to film myself making some of these. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's one of those things that sounds easier said than done, but we'll see. Okay, so we have Patty's Founders Day Punch, which I'm definitely gonna have to whip up a batch for the event and drink it out of my cup all weekend. Um, too funny, it is alcoholic. <laughs> and I also just really appreciate like the art on all of these, so much detail. Let's see, we have Jackson's Raspberry Peach Jam. Cute. Spiced nuts for tricks. <laughs> tricks is the great grandmother's, Rory's great grandmother's dog, I believe. And there she is and her grandmother. Emily. Suki's zucchini soup. <laughs> He's sleeping with the zucchini. That's so funny. Lorelei's birthday pizza. Lots of details there. Suki's bit a basket pretzel. Aw, Jackson and Suki. I think we should get married. Cute. Luke's missing Monte Cristo sandwich. <laughs> New menu. Oh my gosh. Turtleneck soup for Richard. <laughs> Emily with the cigarette. Iconic. Oh my gosh. Caesar's chilaquiles. <laughs> Caesar! <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a lot of instructions on these little cards. Okay, so after this, I will put them in the book. That is amazing. I want to see if they have a Eat Like a Gilmore recipe cards designed by Heather Gretton Art. The third set of seasonally inspired recipe cards this set includes, this spring set includes nine recipes from the show to help while planning your retreat snacks. So definitely need to make some punch. <laughs> okay, Woo! we got more, we got more. <laughs> Away with the poodles already. So if you've never seen this before, this is a crossover of some nerdiness into craftiness. So if you snap these snaps in the corner, you see you make a little tray and it's like a little catch-all tray for your supplies. But what these are actually designed for, um, which you can kind of tell by the logo on the back, is these are actually dice rolling trays. So they also have multifunction if you're a, a household that plays board games. Um, you can roll your dice in here and it keeps it all nice and contained. So we have Oi with the Poodles already. Um, which they're calling an accessory tray, yes, made by North to South Designs. If you put oi and poodle together in the same sentence, you'd have a great new catchphrase. Oi, with the poodles already. <laughs> Too funny. This is nice, like, pleather, leather, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, and then if you, for on-the-go stitching, it opens up completely flat. Fun. Okay, this one, oh, nope, we're not down there yet. <laughs> okay, let's see. I live in two worlds. One is a world of books. I guess this is our project bag. Oh, this is so cute. It's like such a different size. Let's see. Rory's reading list book sleeve designed by Abby Malal Malaga Art. Malaga, Malaga. This sleeve features all the books referenced in Rory's graduation speech. Okay, it will fit a standard size hardcover up to 300 pages or a standard size paperback up to 450 pages. Oh my gosh. So let's see, we have Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, um, a, Confederacy, a Confederacy of Dunces, Moby Dick, Anna Karenina, War and Peace, Swan's Way, and Sound and the Fury. And then there's a little mug with Luke's, the Luke's logo, the dragonflies. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let me see, let me take it out of the bag. 
this is fun. Oh my gosh, a little zipper. Let's see, nice pink lining on the inside. That's so cute. And I think, you know, this would be a good thing if you have like, I'm thinking of those like hands on design, you know, those little postcard size patterns. Um, I feel like you could put a project in here. That's it. I don't know if I need a book sleeve, but with a zipper, this is gonna be a project bag for something. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. I don't even, okay. I'm gonna yank this one out. They have been spoiling us with bags. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Crinkle. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that purple lining. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Uh dragonfly in stash bag no kidding uh designed by the black needle society ready for a weekend stay in stars hollow pack your bag to the dragonfly in with this exclusive stash bag just for the occasion so this style of bag they have given out um before i received one i don't know my zipper oh wait okay i think we're good we're good <laughs> uh <laughs> so there's a giant zipper all the way across the front of this there are this fabric's kind of hard to see, but multiple, there's two rows of pockets on the outside here. Um, there are zipper pockets and multiple pockets on the inside. There's a little like clippy and there are rings on the end where you could attach a strap if you wanted to. These bags are massive. I have been using the one from my Christmas box. Um, to hold basically everything that's been in rotation and it often flaps over because I don't have enough stuff in there, but these bags are huge, humongous. So fun. Okay, um, yes, we read about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so this looks like Rory's, um, Rory's bulletin board, there we go, Yale. I think I know what this is. Let's see. Okay, this is, we're almost done. I can't believe how much is in this box. Oh my goodness, all right, sorry. Note to self, bring scissors next time. I'm not using the new ones. <laughs> Mutilate the bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Rory's going to Yale. <laughs> so we did have to give our t-shirt sizes. Oh my gosh, it's maybe a little bit bigger than I thought it would be, but I like a roomy shirt. So Rory's going to Yale. Let's see. Um, Kirk's headline t-shirt designed by the Black Needle Society. The pro and con list must come to a close. Lorelai has redecorated Rory's room and Kirk has a headline for his daily t-shirts. <laughs> Too funny. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Okay. And last but not least, the pattern. <laughs> so they did um, spoil the pattern for those of us um, in the Facebook group already. But... Um, I'm excited to finally have the hard copy version. So here it is. Oh my goodness. Um, so bright. And so I have my project from last year. So I'll show you what the other two look like because these, um, every season is a 95 by 95, I believe full coverage square. And you can stitch them individually or they're, they can also, they're designed that they can be put together in a banner um so i am doing the connected version the banner version um so yeah so let's see some of the features on here they pointed out is we have al's pancakes the container the stars hollow sign the vicious trollop lipstick there is a street light which they have done that's a feature in all the patterns so far 
Um, we have the dragonfly in, we have Suki. We have some, oh yeah, we have half of a dragonfly up here, some books, the bit of basket or the picnic basket, if I remember correctly. Um, and then we have half of a guitar, which you'll see feeds into the previous one. And then we have the words, if you need me, which you will see. So last year, this was our project bag, just to give you an idea, very large, very fun, very summer. Um, You can really tell what their stitching is. <laughs> it's so thick. Okay. I also, again, did not have the foresight to grab a board for this or anything, but you get the idea. So this is autumn and summer. And so spring will go on this side. So you can see there's half of a guitar here and the spring pattern. Ooh, 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 careful, careful, careful the tape. <laughs> Just quick surgery. Don't mind me. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't rip it. <laughs> Didn't destroy it. Um, okay. There we go. <laughs> you can see the guitar. The other half of the guitar will be on there. And I think it's just so incredible how like different the background colors are, but how they still go together. I have seen um, the full model all together. Um, oh, this is nice. This is almost like to scale. <laughs> um, yeah, this will be great. And then winter will go over here. So I cannot wait. The retreat is at the end of the month. I need to, now that I have this, I'm going to double check that I have all the DMCs. I purchased, and conveniently did not put on a ring, um, I purchased the Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, conversion pack. Um, this is not the called for, but every year Forbidden Fiber Co. has sold um, a conversion pack, and I love Forbidden Fiber Flosses. So I've been buying those and that's been working great. And then that way it'll all be consistent for me anyway. Um, so these, so usually the way these are charted is like all of the individual like icons in there um, are in DMC and the background is fancy floss. So these should go kind of more in the background if I recall correctly. At least that's how it's been in the past, but these are so spring, so fun. Um, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so yay, it's all together. Um, this is the box. And then before I lose you, um, I participated in the needle minder exchange this year. And what a saga. I, I did wait until like close to the last minute. So the deadline fell on like a Sunday. Um, so I knew obviously USPS wouldn't deliver on a Sunday. So I was shooting for Saturday. So I brought it Monday and this is a domestic shipping, right? From Georgia to Missouri. Um, I sent it on Monday. It just sat in the post office for like two days. It didn't ship until Wednesday. And then when it finally shipped, it was supposed to arrive there Friday and then it didn't, and then it was supposed to arrive on Saturday, and then they failed to deliver because this is at their new office, and um, they, yeah, whatever, they were not there, they didn't receive the package, so then they were like, oh, we'll deliver it next business day, which was Monday, and so I emailed them in a panic, it was like, I'm so sorry, I am late, uh, um, but they let me participate, because <laughs> they didn't pack these until Tuesday night, so anyway, it looks like my needle minder is from Liz, who we have not really spoken much, but I certainly know of her. I've watched some of her um, floss tubes before and I've seen her in some of the group chats. She's hilarious. Um, so thank you, Liz. I cannot wait to see what we got here. Oh, she included her a little card of hers. And then, oh, let's see. 
I hope you like the needle minder I chose. It felt like it fits the themes of spring and coffee. It was made by a company called Inchworm Designs. I guess I should show you while I'm talking about it. That's so pretty. Inchworm Designs, a small Aussie business, Aussie business based in Perth, Western Australia. I hope it keeps your needles safe. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know she lives in Australia, so this little needle minder made a long journey to get to me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Liz. Um, I might tag her so she can see that I got it, but thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy. This is definitely going to join this year's needle minder on my work, and I hope we get to catch up during the retreat. Um, of course, I know it's hard scheduling wise for the Aussies to be awake <laughs> um, during the hours, but that is everything. I, I'm just going to go through a quick round. Let's just make sure. So make sure everything on the list. So we had the Geller and Gilmore needle minder. We had the floss. We have the needle case, which has disappeared. Here we go. Needle case, <laughs> the popcorn, the scissors, the Bluetooth speaker, the accessory tray, which I put over here, the t-shirt, the punch cup, the stash bag, the book sleeve, the recipe cards, and the pattern. Amazing! Amazing, amazing, as always. I really look forward to these boxes and um, all <laughs> this is the second time, but I was really looking forward to this box and they have outdone themselves again. I don't even know how they're going to come up with more stuff for winter. They really know this show inside and out to get all these little, you know, quips and one liners and all this stuff. But anyway, um, if you are interested in this box. Um, like I said, I think it's kind of beyond the time of being able to do anything for this year, but um, keep an eye out on the vault on the blackmealsociety.com. If you want to get any of these items, they will be up at some point. Um, they should announce, if you follow their social media, they like let you know when things are going to go up in the vault. Um, but things should go up in the vault eventually. And if you want to participate in this online retreat next year, um, it will, that box is not yet on sale. So you can get signed up for their emails again, follow their socials and you can see when that box is going to go on sale so you can participate next year. So thank you, Liz. Thank you, BNS. And I am going to try to go find a spot to put all of this now. <laughs> um, hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is drizzly, disgusting raining out here. So I'm going to be keeping it low key, play some video games, do a little stitching. And I hope you guys have a low key weekend as well. Talk to y'all later. <laughs>